Hi, my name is Marion Landry and today I'm going to give you small tips and tricks on how you can render an interior scene that only have a small window using the mental ray settings. Okay, so we'll have a look at this project here, which is a small bathroom, which is actually a Phalanx DWG file that I have just Phalanx from AutoCAD. When I file link, I've also imported the daylight system as well as the camera view. Now I'm going to move away this uh, daylight system icon a little bit away from my building, just so I can see exactly the angle of it. So you can go to the, to the motion tab and increase the orbital scale. So the sun goes away from the center of origin. Moving the sun icon doesn't change on the light intensity because the light is actually driven by the time, date, and location of this sun. So you'll see if I change the time of the day of my sun, you'll see that the sun is being adjusted accordingly. So right now we're set at 3.30 in the afternoon on September 21st, 2009. And the location is San Francisco, California. So this bathroom only have two small window by which the sun light will be able to enter our room. So we have here a typical interior space, which is a small space with small window opening. So the light will have to travel through these window opening. And we're going to have a look at the adjustment and mental rate in order to find the right presets to render the scene properly. So right now I have adjusted my, my exposure control. I've chosen the mental ray photographic exposure control, as well as the physically base lighting indoor daylight. So this is the situation that I have now, and I've rendered a preview here, and I can adjust the exposure value. But keep in mind that the render preview is taking the rendering presets that I have now to render the preview. So we'll review those settings first before we get into fine tuning the exposure control. So right now, the rendering preset I have for mental ray are the typical standard default preset. I haven't adjusted anything. The only thing that I have adjusted is my exposure control. So let's just hit render and see where this leads us. Okay, so this is the result of my first rendering without touching the rendering preset. So just as they come when you open 3ds Max design. So first of all, there's couple of problems in this rendering. It's a lot too dark. It doesn't seem like it's giving me the real lighting situation. And there's a lot of noise and blotches on the floor and on the ceiling and all of that. Couple of things. You remember that the only source of light in this scene is my daylight system. So, so if I open the rendering setup panel window and go to the indirect illumination tab, I can see here that the final gather rendering rays per FG point are 50 rays. So basically my sun is sending 50 rays per final gather points and they're trying to enter through these window. Some of them might be blocked by the blinds that are in my window and some of them are making their way inside of my bathroom but they're not bouncing therefore there's not much indirect illumination because the indirect illumination is created but the light that is bouncing inside so basically the rays are entering they're coming to the surface and they're ending there they're not bouncing on the wall and bouncing underneath the ceiling creating this nice indirect illumination in my scene Okay, so let's fix our first problem and increase the final gather bounces. So there's no magic number number for final gather bounces, but for interior scene, one to three final gather bounce is normally the number. You can go up to seven if you want, but increasing the final gather bounce number will definitely increase your rendering time as well. Okay, so here I have an image comparison with the final gather bounces at three. So definitely we increase our rendering time by a little bit at this point. So one minute, 38 seconds compared to one minute, 21 seconds. So a little small increase, but still we don't have a nice quality rendering because there's still splotches and it's still noisy on the wall. And this is not really what I'm looking for. So my first instinct, it's going to be start adjusting my mental race settings here, such as increasing the final gather precision, maybe increasing the soft shadow precision. So it's not so grainy here on the wall and as well as here. But by doing this, I'm going to increase the rendering time. Now there's a much easier solution for that and it's called Mental Ray Sky Portal. What the Mental Ray Sky Portal will do is to direct all the final gather ray to a certain location, which is the size of the Mental Ray Sky Portal. 
So let's create a Mentory Sky Portal under the Lights panel. So you'll see here Mentory Sky Portal, and we're going to use the Auto Grid, so we'll be able to snap it on the exterior wall, and we're going to create it at about the size of our window. Now you'll see if I go from the top view, this is where my Mentory Sky Portal is. So you see it's pointing from the inside. So it's giving me the direction to where the rays are entering. So this is my mental sky portal and it's pointing towards the inside. So it's going to take all the rays from the sun and it's going to direct it to the mental sky portal and to enter through the opening of these window. I'm going to place it just in front of my blind. So the blinds are not an obstruction object in this case. They're still going to cast shadow though. So let's go back to our camera view and do a quick rendering of that. Okay, so what we did first is render using the draft default mental resetting with no bounce, and this is the result we had. Then we moved on and increased the number of bounce to three bounces, and this is what we got at a minute and 38. Now we have created a mental sky portal, and this is the difference. So I went back to no bounces, so here we have the Mentory first render images with no bounces. And this is the same setting. So it's all set up at the default preset, no bounces with a Mentory Sky Portal. Now, what a difference. Now you can see that the light entering the bathroom is directed. All the rays are coming in the windows and brighten up the room appropriately. Now, if we increase the final gather bounces with the, the Mentory Sky Portal, this is the result that we're going to get. So Definitely, it's going to increase the look of things. So you see that, for example, on the corner of the wall, it's a little bit brighter, but the difference is not that much. So you might be able to get away with maybe two bounces or one bounces. So up to you to do the test. So you'll see that's going to brighten up the room a little bit more. It does increase the time a little bit. So no bounces, two minutes and nine seconds. You know, three bounces, two minute, 11 seconds, not really worth it not to increase the final gather bounces to three. So we have the mental sky portal. We still have the default mental resetting. We still have a low uh, render time, two minute and 11 seconds. But of course, from there, we can start increasing the look of this rendering by playing with the mental ray uh, presets. So definitely the glossy reflection, it's going to increase you know, the reflection in the, the metal and, you know, the highlights in here, you'll see the glossy reflection on the counter and here is going to smoothen up, such like that. The uh, shadow precision, you'll see it's going to get smoother in the shadow of the blinds here. You'll see the smoothness around on the wood floor as well. It's really grainy right now. And the glossy refraction, it's going to show in the glass as well, such as this object, for example. 